Hey, good morning, it's Dr. James. I do hope and pray this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, thriving. Well, and I gotta tell you, I I sprinted up to the tree house, this long hill, going through the snow. I'm like, I cannot wait to share with you this morning, which I think is something that's so magical this time of the year. And it's, it's, it's very scientific, it's deeply spiritual. And I think you're gonna go, ah, oh, gosh, I'm just gonna lean into this and allow this to carry me, to buoy me, to lift me in a way because it's all already happening. There's this phenomenon in quantum physics that's called emotional contagion. This is another one called moral contagion. Emotional and moral contagion. And what that basically means during certain times of the year, certain people, certain energies, but this time of the year, because so many different people, millions and millions and millions of people are celebrating something, different walks, different faiths, different orientations, we could all be celebrating something. And typically this time of the year, there is some kind of celebration vibrating across the world. And because that's happening, emotional and moral contagion has never been greater. And what does that mean for us? It means that we are literally buoyed up by this. We are lifted. We are carried. There is a limitless opportunity to really ride this wave physiologically, neurochemically, emotionally, and morally. And just for a moment, let us unpack the word moral. Sometimes people that word, they go, oh, well, you know, that's a little, what does that mean? What does moral mean? It simply means integrity, character vulnerability, honesty, compassion, love, being all the things that are absolutely inside of all of us and standing with the truth of that, right? Soft front of compassion, openness, and love, strong back of integrity and character. That's the moral opportunity. And this moral opportunity is connect with emotional opportunity. And together, those two things right now, they are absolutely at an all-time high. And yes, regardless of what's happened this past year, regardless of all the different ways that many people have been marginalized this time of year politically. Horrible things happening in the social justice experiences for so many people, but now there's more of an eye on this. There's more of a heart that's been now placed in that space so we can start to be like, oh my goodness, we've got work to do. I wanna do this work, so we raise up in that light. Oh my goodness, I saw that marginalization over here. I, I didn't wanna look away, I wanna learn what's that, what's mine to do with this? And you absolutely stand connected to that. That raises you up. And then you think about what's happened with this pandemic across the world. And you say, what can I do to know that the physical distance will still probably be here for some time, but I'm not going to create an even lower love distance. I am not going to be a social distant. I'm going to look people in the eye with my mask. I am going to look people in the eye with the eyes of compassion and understanding and common humanity. I am going to invite people into my heart by simply holding a space in my heart that is absolutely riding the influence, literally living under the influence of emotional and moral contagion. This is a beautiful time to take your trust walk. This is a beautiful time to love out loud. This is a beautiful time to be wonderfully, beautifully conspicuous with what you know your heart needs to do for your heart to be at peace with you. You have to live up to the truth of who you are for your peace to be true to you when your heart knows it's true coming through you. That's how it works. And right now we can ride at what's happening already. It's sort of an opportunity to take off the training wheels and just trust that the universe, trust the energy, trust the good, trust the light wants to carry us all to a better place. Out of the ego and into the beautiful places where we can literally see one another again and go, oh my goodness, my brother, my sister, I didn't vote that way. I don't, I don't see things the same way. I don't do things the same way, but I am a humanity and I see you in a way that sees you in me and as me and you see me as you. We are one. Moral, emotional contagion creates community. Common humanity. <sighs> never been easier, never been harder, but never been more open than right now to give yourself an opportunity to trust it, to live into it, to lean into it, and allow it to be all of us. All of us coming into it as one. So with that, much love, all blessings. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Happy everything. Bye for now.